hi there YouTube land people so I got my braces off and it couldn't happen fast enough I had I'd been wearing them since November 2019 right before the pandemic broke out if I would have known that I never would have done it um, I'm not like even 100% happy with the outcome and I did not even wear my retainer last night because I was too tired to um, I, ha I had to this morning I, I I got some soap and a toothbrush and I scrubbed it really good because I didn't want to put that thing in my mouth without scrubbing it with soap really good and last night I, I just was too tired to even be bothered with it and then now today I just noticed my teeth are moving back already even though I've been trying to keep them in position with my tongue by mewing that's where you keep your tongue up against the palate of your mouth as much as you can and it's not working my teeth are still moving and I'll show you what I mean this tooth is already can you see it's already this tooth is already shifted back behind this corner has already shifted back behind the corner of that tooth that used to line up and now it's not lining up anymore see the corner is, is gone almost behind the corner of that tooth. And also another thing I've noticed, these teeth aren't perfectly level. It, it's, it's not necessarily what the orthodontist did or didn't do. It was a lot worse. But as you can see, this side's higher than this side. And what it is is it's the... The, this tooth is um, worn more than that tooth. It's just the way my teeth have worn. So if I ever want to fix that, um, I'd probably have to get a, a veneer on this one and then file. Um, I'm not going to do this anytime soon, but I'd have to file this one because it's too long and pointy. And I'd have to get a veneer on that one to make it look level like this side. And, um, yeah, so I'll tell you what happened. Um, he did tell me like a month ago or, or six, was it six weeks ago that next visit, most likely they would be coming off. And I, I wanted to get these things off. I wasn't going to even complain, even though I could see issues. Like I still, I got a black triangle happening there and, you know, I just didn't want him to, to, um, have to shave off any more tooth here to get it fixed because it would mean I would have to wear my braces another six weeks and it would mean that I'd be exposing myself to particles in the air and that's what brings me to my next complaint which is see this is the problem when you go I mean he's a good orthodontist but this is the problem when you go with an orthodontist that's um, very like just just say budget friendly because they don't have a lot of the stuff other orthodontists might use like a vacuum for example to vacuum away the particles they didn't they weren't doing that so she's like okay we're gonna cut your braces off and sometimes little particles will come off and and just be aware of that and so she clips them off and she's like oh wow like these came off really easy and no particles but then she whips out her little um thing that they use to get the glue off and these particles are just going everywhere and there's no one no one no help no no one standing there with a vacuum to suck it up and i can feel them going like in my nose all these particles and i'm thinking this is nuts what if what if these particles are, that are going in my nose are attaching to, to things in the environment you know and i'm getting exposed to it and i said to her can we not do this so you know because I'm afraid and so she only did like these teeth and she left all the glue on these bottom teeth so I have a fingernail file when I came home and today like I'd been using the fingernail file and I and I actually got it to where it's a little more smoother so it's not so much glue left but there's still some glue left on my bottom teeth and I'm just gonna let let it wear away naturally i'm just i'm not even going to go back they they want me to go back 
next month to do a checkup. I'm not going to because I am terrified. I've been doing a lot of research. <laughs> and the more I learn, the more scared I am. And, you know, it's something like, like two, two people in a hundred will actually die from this thing. So it's just a, it's a numbers game. I imagine it's a numbers game and, um, they don't even know what long-term effects can be. There's been proof shown that people that are asymptomatic also can have lung damage and, and different damages into different things in their body, even though they never have symptoms. It's terrifying. And I'm not willing to gamble with my health like that. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm lucky if I escape this unharmed, basically. That's how I feel. And again, I never would have got braces if I would have known all this, you know, it was going to happen just a few months after. That's crazy. I mean, go figure. Murphy's Law. Anything that's bad that's going to happen, usually it will happen at the worst time. Like for me, can you imagine? I mean, I, of all the times I could have got my braces all the years prior to this and then I choose the one year that I shouldn't have but you know what also I think that if I hadn't got my braces on like when I did I never would because now with this going on and on and on and no end in sight I don't believe there's a vaccine for coronaviruses if there was the cold vaccine would have been invented a long time ago I think what the, the medical or drug companies are doing, they're just going to try to make up for lost profits from all the um, money they're going to be losing from all the people that are not going to be getting medications because they're not going to the doctor and they're not going to the hospitals anymore. So all that money the drug companies are going to be losing, they need to make up for. And the way they make up for that is through vaccinations. Go do your own damn research. I'm not even joking. Take care.